Hey, this is Daniel Ronberg from the Retirement Research Foundation. I want to share with you this one weird savings trick that my wife and I did when we got out of college that I think you're going to love. The information found in this video and related presentation is provided by the Retirement Research Foundation and is for educational and informational purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered to be tax or investment advice. All right, I'm back. Now, this video is for somebody who's having some trouble saving some money. And I come across this every now and then. You know, there's a ton of statistics out there that say the millennials are actually returning as some of the great savers. But there's still this epidemic of a lot of 20 and 30 year olds right now that have an enormous amount of credit card debt and no savings. And people write in all the time and ask, you know, I either have kids or grandkids or myself. I'm having trouble saving money. What can I do? What's the best way to start saving and accumulating there's a lot of great tips and ways you can start saving money. You know, there's different suggestions on you should save 15 to 40 percent of your income. You know, Dave Ramsey and some of these other financial pundits are extremely well versed and have a lot of great suggestions on ways that you can and should be saving your money. But I'm going to share with you one weird trick that I think is a fun way for you to start saving money immediately and becomes a fun game that you can play if you are in a relationship or if you're single, this is something that's really, really fun that will begin the savings process but is a little non-conventional. So I want to tell you a story. When I first got out of college, I had a little bit of debt. My wife had a little bit of debt. She wasn't my wife at the time. Okay, she was my fiance. Uh, we lived together. That may be a little taboo, but that's the truth. And so when we first got an apartment together and we were just out of college and we were getting our beginning jobs and you know I was starting out as a young, new uh you know, broker at JP Morgan and, um, and my wife was uh, a waitress at the time, you know, the beginner program, the trainee program at JP Morgan didn't pay a whole lot, uh, when I first started and, uh, her serving tables didn't pay a whole lot. And we had some debt we were trying to pay off and we were having trouble saving money. You know, we were just interchanging our finances and mingling those for the first time we were sharing a joint bank account. And so we were looking at ways we could be more creative and save money in a fun way. Enter the wine bottle savings account. One day I came home from work and I said, you know, you get all these cash tips all the time. I seem to have a little bit of cash from time to time. Let's take this old empty wine bottle, okay? And every time we come home, whatever we have in our pocket, okay, excess that we can, let's just throw a little bit in the wine bottle, okay? So she would come home from her serving job and she'd have a few extra bucks and tips, she'd put them in. If I had a couple extra bucks in my pocket, I'd put it in. And we made a deal that we were not going to crack open the bottle until it got full. So months go by and we're just cramming a couple ones, fives, tens, every now and then a 20, some change, whatever we can get into this wine bottle. And it would start to fill up. And what's fun about it is you have no idea what's in there. Eventually you lose track and you start to see what's in there and you get excited about it. And the best part about it is eventually you get to go outside and crack open this wine bottle on the curb and see what all the money is that comes out. And what you find is... It's really not that hard to save money, and it's amazing how much accumulates if you just make it a consistent habit. If you put something away, whatever it is, a 20, a 5, whatever you can do consistently before you spend it, you will develop that savings and you will build your wealth. And even though it's building wealth in a wine bottle, it is a fun way for you to get involved with your savings and engage so that you can start the conversation. And then from there, you can build ways that will be more effective to save either if you can automate your savings into a separate account, uh, if you can budget. I always like the method of uh, saving and putting away your money first and then spending what's left. That's always been really simple and worked for a lot of people, uh, including myself and my wife now. Uh, but the wine bottle savings is a very fun way to get started. And I encourage you to try it if you're having trouble saving out there. Uh, as always, please feel free to reach out with additional suggestions on comments or posts we can make, uh, videos we can produce. So we'd look forward to your feedback. As always, I'm Daniel Romberg. Take care.